Oké, okay, cool. Uh, het begint een klein beetje te regenen. We hopen dat het niet doorzet. Uh, Zometeen moet uh, Al-J ook spelen. Uh, ik zit hier met uh, twee leden van Al-J. Hi, how are you doing? Hey, very good. Okay. Did you just arrive? Or yeah, you... um, we got in this morning. Okay. Yeah. Uh, where were you coming from? We came from Denmark. Okay. <laughs> And that is already maybe the, the first sign that like this has been an uh, incredible year for Al-J. Yeah. Um, were there moments where you thought to yourself like what the hell is going on or were there like mark points where you were like hey we're now we're going up a notch or i think some of the, seeing the response we get at some festivals uh it's been really exciting you know because that's that's when you can really measure how many people know your music when there's you know tens of thousands of people in one place and lots of them come and watch you play that's pretty exciting right, yeah. Yeah, yeah i remember seeing you even support two-door cinema club when you played uh, as a headliner on the other side of the square basically Um, that was probably because it was already arranged, uh, the the gig, right? Earlier, at an earlier stage. Paradiso and Melkweg in one yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that was quite that was quite weird, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> that, that really means that there you can see how fast it went almost. Because I guess when the support slot was confirmed, it was a very different stage of, of what you were doing yeah. in a way, right? Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think you're right, yeah. I think that the way that sort of booking and touring works sometimes is that sometimes you get booked so far in advance to do something, you end up sort of like being at the, uh, it's like a, like a, a different stage to how you think you'd be. Yeah, and so through the month in a way it changed to how you, uh, you have the records and then you have the, the live experience. Um, have you changed quite a bit maybe how you approach the songs live? Or is that um, our approach has always been to try and play them like they are on the album because the album is the thing that we're most pleased with. However, um, yeah, recently we try and change them a bit on stage and add little extra sections because it makes it more fun for the audience and it makes it more fun for us as well. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. But we, we haven't done too much of that, we're just starting to really. Yeah. 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 And, and being on the road so much, have you already thought maybe to the future for like a, a, a next record or at which stage are things seeping through your mind or not at all yet? I think they're, I think they're seeping, they're beginning to filter. I think that we're, we're on tour until October, so it's quite hard for us to really get to grips with sort of writing a new album because we just haven't got the time right now but um, we're doing other things we're doing sort of some um, film soundtracks and things so we're keeping busy yeah. what are you doing for film soundtrack you said um, so we did we did one earlier in the year for um, uh, a UK film coming out called Leave to Remain yeah and then we're doing another one for a nature documentary and we did a song for um, the David O. Russell films as well so we're okay. enjoying doing a lot of film work yeah, yeah. And now it starts to rain really, so we're going in for the signing session. Okay, yeah, cheers, thanks Thank a lot. You.